So here's the moment that everybody was talking about, right? So Julian Castro says that you, you forgot. So Joe Biden, and I can't believe I don't have the clip, but he did say, if you lose your job, you can buy into his plan. He said it. Those are the words he used. And so Julian Castro says this. Barack Obama's vision was not to leave 10 million people uncovered. He wanted every single person in this country covered. My plan would do that. Your plan would they not. They do not have to buy in. They do not have to buy in. You just said that. You just said that two minutes ago. You just said two minutes ago that they would have to buy in. You said they would have to buy in. to buy in. If she qualifies for Are you forgetting what you said two minutes ago? Are you forgetting already what you said just two minutes ago? I mean, I can't believe... So he has to go over to Bernie. Bernie, what? <laughs> Bernie's like, they're making fun of your dementia. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That you said two minutes ago that they had to buy in, and now you're saying they don't have to buy. You're forgetting that. I said anyone I mean, with look, your grandmother who look, has no money, you need she a would, healthcare system. You're automatically, you automatically enrolled. Enrolls people regardless of whether they choose to opt in or not. If you lose your job, for instance, his, his health care plan would not automatically enroll you. You would have to opt in. My health care plan would. That's a big difference. I'm full. Look at Joe Biden's face. <laughs> oh, your plan would have him? Oh, I didn't know. Oh. So here, and then, I don't know if you remember, but uh, Mayor Pete Buttigieg that then decided to be fucking hall monitor. Uh, do you remember this? Watch this. Here he goes. This is why presidential on, debates are becoming unwatchable. Yeah. Yeah, we're, this we're reminds everybody of what they cannot I, stand about Washington. That's, an that, that's not what people can't stand about Washington, that they call out Joe Biden because he can't remember what he said two fucking minutes earlier. That's not why people don't like politics or Washington. You know why they don't like Washington? It's because when they get sick and they go to the doctor, they come out fucking bankrupt because you cocksuckers are in bed with the fucking health insurance companies and the pharmaceutical companies. That's what they fucking hate about Washington. You fucking cocksucker. Wait, do you like them or don't you like them, Jimmy? Oh. Are they cocksuckers or are they not? They fucking cocksucking fathead. <laughs> I said it. Motherfucking fart snarkle. <laughs> so he goes, that's what's wrong. No, that's not why people hate politics. That's not. Okay, so I just want to, Mayor Pete, go back to your Boy Scout meeting and... <laughs> what does Amy say at the end of this? Does it... Does it... You know? This is what we're here for. It's an election. Yeah, but a house, a house divided cannot stand. A Democrat. Oh. oh, you know what I want to know? I, I want to know who won the cliche debate. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris Cuomo, for some reason, Fredo, decided... <laughs> by the, by, did he, but you know what happened, so I'm going to play this real quick just so you remember. No, punk ass bitches from the right call me Fredo. My name is Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. <laughs> punk ass bitches from the right call me F F Fredo. I'm Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. C -c -c <laughs> right? It was like it was like a promo. I'm, a, I'm Chris Cuomo. I'm an anchor on CNN. B -b 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 <laughs> so punk ass bitches from the right call him Fredo, and then he says this. Then he says this. And they use it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? Oh, Are you Italian? I got, I got a it's a fucking insult to your people. It's an insult to your fucking people. It's like the N-word for us. <laughs> it's like the N-word for us. Uh, isn't it amazing? You call me fucking Fredo? <laughs> Let me fucking tell you something, buddy. I don't fucking like that you say that. It's an insult to Italians. <laughs> He started sounding like a fucking Goomba as he started. <laughs> you can't. I can't be like, hey, why are you saying Irish guys drink a lot? <laughs> That's a fucking insult to you fucking people. And then, he, and then he says this to the guy at the end. He says this. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? You're going to have a fucking problem. What? What are you going to do about it? I'll fucking ruin I'll your shit. Then. I'll fucking throw you down these stairs like a fucking punk. Please do. Why? So you, you don't want to sue? You don't. 
right. I'll throw you down these stairs like a punk. Anyway, that's why. It sounded like he said, I'll throw you down. <laughs> I'll throw you. And every time I look at this, I think like I'm at a circus, and he's like the angry clown. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you, you know how you know Fredo isn't the Italian equivalent of the N-word? There are Italians whose name is Fredo. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, Fredo, it's like, I always thought the seven words you can't say on TV, there's actually another one now. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits, and Fredo. <laughs> so Chris Cuomo decided he was going to be the tone police for the evening. So he brings on Jillian Castro, and he confronts him about that. So for the seven people in this country who didn't watch the debate, let me play the moment uh, that resonated early on with you for them at home. So now he's going to play that moment, but CNN, the number one news, doesn't have that video. So he goes to show, I'm going to play that, and they don't have it, so Chris Cuomo says this. Oh, we don't. All right, so uh, why... Oh, we don't have it? I have it, I have no idea. But why we don't have it, I have no idea, but Chris doesn't know why they don't have the video available, but he does know that one of the producers are getting thrown on a flight of stairs later. He knows that. <laughs> okay. So then he decides to act it out. So we don't have the video. I'll act out the moment as a thespian. <laughs> I, you think I'm shitting? Watch this, watch. You said to Joe Biden several different times, did you forget what you just said? And the crowd went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then? And then he said to Bernie, what'd he say I said? And Bernie said, he said that you forgot what you said. And then... <laughs> Okay, here we go. People on the stage came at you and was basically giving you the message, you went too low on that. Do you regret it? You went too low. You said, did you forget what you just said? That's all he said. And this is the, and then Joe Biden's supposed to stand up to Trump? Oh, oh my God, I hope he doesn't ask about my memory. <laughs> <laughs> and so then, so then, Chris Cuomo, it's that he brings on Andrew Yang to say the same shit. Watch this, he does it again. The idea of what happened on the debate stage tonight with Castro, I just had him on the show, and I said, seemed to me that you took a cheap shot at Biden, you said it three times. He said, no, 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 I had a debate, I had a, a disagreement over policy, and I'm here to debate. And I said, yeah, but how you debate matters. And he says, no, nah, I didn't mean it in any other kind of way. I said, well, everybody went, ooh. And then I said, <laughs> And then he said, yo, mama. And then I said, back off, bitch. <laughs> and then we had a rap battle right on CNN. <laughs> what the fuck? People came after you on the debate stage. He wouldn't own it that way. Ooh. So then he brings on, he brings on Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> Hey, Liz, here's what he says to Liz, here's what he says. Hey, Liz Lauren, what do you think about my question to Castro about Biden and my question to Yang about my question to Castro? Wait, didn't he act out him asking the question to Yang about the question he asked to Castro? Here we, here we go. I, I, one of the things that many are saying about your performance uh, tonight was tone. Strong when you needed to be, uh, but there was an amicability to you with, uh, with uh, VP Biden. A lot of us thought that, you know, that was going to be blood sport tonight, but that you had good tone throughout the night. We were just talking with... What the fuck? Hey, jo hey, you know what? We're in seven wars. People don't have living wage. People are going bankrupt because they get sick. We got fracking pipes underneath this country from coast to coast polluting our water. I want someone to have the wrong tone, Chris, you fucking pussy. Hey we're, hey, we're dumping nuclear waste into the ocean, but please, let's have decorum, shall we? I don't want anybody to get upset. That would be, that would be uncouth. Accusing Joe Biden of forgetting what he said two minutes ago, that's like the N-word to old people.
Why can't you be more civil like I am to those punk ass bitches from the right? Hey everybody, we're doing a live show every Sunday in October in Hollywood, California at the Sycamore Tavern. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com for a link for tickets and become a patron. We give you hours of bonus material every month. Become a premium member. Go to jimmydorecomedy.com and sign up. Thanks for your support.